All right, Jason, thank you. Now to the very latest from Michigan State University. After three students were killed and five others were critically injured after a gunman went on a rampage through that East Lansing campus. Tonight, still no motive. Today also marks five years since 14 students and three educators lost their lives in Parkland, Florida, after a gunman opened fire inside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Right here is a map from the Gun Violence Archive showing exactly where mass shootings have happened across the United States this month alone in 2023. Michigan State has about 50,000 students, including 19,000 who live right on campus. All classes and activities canceled for at least the next couple of days. The gunman was 43-year-old Anthony McRae. He shot and killed himself after an hours-long manhunt with police miles from campus. He was a resident of East Lansing. Two firearms were found, one at the scene, one inside a backpack. One student walking us through the terrifying moments as he tried to save himself and others. Myself and a few others that were with me, we took heavy furniture from around the library and just essentially barricaded ourselves in to a study room uh, to make sure we were safe. And that lasted overall, that whole process was about five hours. Tonight, a growing memorial at Michigan State to remember the victims. And some Northeast Ohio students who attend Michigan State University also tell us this was terrifying. First at five, one student described what it was like in the classroom where she was locked down. Now all new at six, see a New Yorker shares that student's point of view on what changes she'd like to see to make campus safer. See ya. Northeast Ohio resident Lexi Alston described to us in chilling detail how her professor used a bungee cord to secure the doors of her classrooms because the doors didn't lock. She tells me she hopes this latest campus shooting is a wake up call for change. Junior Lexi Alston tells me she spent hours locked down on Michigan State University's campus as an active shooter went rampant. That's not the type of thing you're going to expect to happen on your campus. So I was like, I was not believing it at first. And finally, like, my professor got a police scare. And I'm like, this is real. This is not a drill. This is actually happening right now. And that's when I was like, this is happening. This is real. She and her classmates made it back to their home safely after police said an all clear that the shooter was dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. She tells me she's traumatized and wants to see changes on and off campus. I just want everyone to know that this is the reality of the world that we're living in right now. Things like this do happen and it's happening way more than it should be happening. I mean, it was only a few months ago where another one in Michigan took place occurring way more than it needs to be. And we need to be taking better safety protocols. Like why was I put in a room? that we could not lock. That just, that dumbfounded me. And that should be the bare minimum. And then of course we should have better security at entrances. Again, I think that all buildings should have a key swipe in. I just think something needs to be done and it's just gonna keep happening and it's gonna keep getting worse until it does. And until somebody speaks up and until actual change is implemented. I reached out to Michigan State University officials in regards to those classroom locks and safety changes on campus. I will keep you updated as we get those new details in. Reporting in downtown Cleveland, CNN New Yorker, 19 News.